Seniors around the world and here in Canada are moving into care facilities too soon. It's about losses, losing autonomy, and losing established community of families and friends. With new technology and compassion, we can help extend senior living at home. This means staying in familiar surroundings, hanging out with familiar people, savoring life important memories. Do you know that if we reach the age of 85, there's a one in three chance that we'll live in a care facility? As my son will say, wow, that's not cool. <laughs> Last May, I was visiting mom during Mother's Day weekend. And right before dinner, we we're sitting right around a little table reminiscing through old photos. Mom says to me, wow, look how much I look like grandma. And mom is right. She does look like grandma. Who do you look like? Your mom? Your dad? What about 30 years from now? Who will you look like? Looking at grandma's eyes, I am her favorite grandson. <laughs> I'm telling you that as one of eight grandkids, all of whom we are told we are her favorite. <laughs> but really, I am her favorite grandson. <laughs> Ten years old, suburb in Hong Kong, off to the farmer's market. Grandma is wearing her gray top and pants with that yellow umbrella she's using as a walking stick. I have to slow down, she cannot keep up. Grandma calls me by her nickname for me, Ming Zai, which in Chinese means shining light. Ming Zai, we need fresh ingredients. That day, Grandma is cooking for the family and I know she's gonna cook my favorite spot prawns. Fresh, succulent prawns. Mmm. Sweet tomato sauce. That day, Grandma doesn't eat much. Her eyes sparkle as she watches me devour all the spot prawns that she cooked. <laughs> Grandma was very close to me and a big part of my life until my parents and I moved to Canada when I was in grade 12. And I stayed in Canada afterwards for university and work. Like many families, we live distances apart. Grandma in Hong Kong. Uneven wooden floors, narrow stairways, and forgetting to lock the front door. Grandma's home is becoming more dangerous with each birthday. Like many others, my grandma is forced into a care facility. Established in my career, I wanted to see grandma. I traveled to Hong Kong. And in that taxi, going to grandma's care facility for the very first time, I imagined an environment that is appropriate for my grandma, perhaps an old heritage home, perhaps the smell of home cooking in the background, and perhaps playing in the background grandma's favorite music. Moon River, wider than a mile, I'm crossing you in style someday. This cannot be right. Gray industrial building, run-down part of town, noisy road construction. Maybe I have the wrong address. I get off the taxi. There's no front desk. I push the elevator to go to the third floor, and there I smell something pungent and sterile. I get off the elevator, still no one to stop me, and I take a look. Oh my, 
rows of steel cot beds with wave-thin mattresses. Oh my God, are you serious? 80-year-old seniors roaming all around the place. Where's grandma? Some of them have dementia. I walk down the hallway. Where is grandma? I find this older lady sitting in a steel cot bed, her eyes staring blankly across the floor. Older, much more frail than I thought. Our eyes connect. There, that's a familiar smile. Ming Tai, Grandma. That instant, I realized that of all people, I could have prevented this. Here I am, as a geriatrics doctor, who look after seniors every day to help them stay as long as possible in their own homes. And yet, I realize I'm too late for my own grandma, too late to move her out of their care facility because she is not medically stable to move. I never want this to happen to you or your loved ones. Making the decision of moving family and our loved ones into a care facility can be really tough. It can generate heated debate and argument. When is the right time? What is the right thing to do? To stay or not to stay at home, that is the question. What can we do to prevent the premature placement of our family into a care facility? to prevent losses and to add life at home. Society is starting to call this move warehousing of seniors. Not a pretty term at all. If you imagine our family being packaged into warehouse containers and then the door slammed shut. You and I do not need to warehouse family that we love or that one in three chance that we may get warehouse ourselves. Take heart, there is hope. As a geriatrics doctor who have looked after thousands of patients over the years, I'm telling you that today we can implement technology to do two things, to increase safety and to increase socialization. And immediately, I think about my mom. Mom, that doormat in the front entrance has to go. But son, you don't understand. That doormat is beautiful. It costs a lot of money. <laughs> and you can't buy it anywhere else. Well, mom, if you want to stay long at home, that doormat is going. It's a tripping hazard and you can fall on it. A fall can have serious consequences. Besides, if you like it so much, hang it up on a wall. <laughs> Doormat, gone! <laughs> well, to the wall. <laughs> and likewise, we walk around mom's home removing all the decorative tables. Mom used to bang her knees against the tables, another tripping hazard for a fall. They're gone. Mom's home has carpeted floor, which is really nice, keeping her feet warm and softening the impact of a fall. But deep carpet makes it difficult to move a walker around if she needs one. So we decide to change the carpeted floor into hardwood floor ideally with warm anti-slip footwear. And it's easier for her to move a walker in case she needs one in the future. And then into the bathroom. We want to make sure that the toilet seat is high enough and that there are grab bars there for support so the mom doesn't fall while sitting down in the bathroom. Take action now, prevent falls. Do you know that falls are the most common cause of injuries in seniors. And every year, on average, 
three out of 10 seniors would fall accidentally. A simple fall can result in a broken hip, creating disability and loss of independence. Take action now. Make your home safe. Safety is the most important consideration for extending senior living at home. Talking about safety, do you know someone who is forgetful? <laughs> do you know someone who puts salt instead of sugar in baking that apple pie? <laughs> do you know someone who leaves a burner on until the pot is burned? And do you know someone who puts laundry detergent into the dishwasher? And I don't count the time when you do it after a few drinks on a Friday night. <laughs> I am committed to watching out for the warning signs of dementia. As a geriatric specialist, I can tell you that seniors with mild or early dementia can still live in a community. They can still live at home without moving into a care facility. What they need is a smartphone, one that has GPS function so that you can use an app on your smartphone to locate them. And you can use the same smartphone to make sure the front door is locked at night and the home appliances are turned off at night, all made possible by connecting home devices via the Internet of Things, or IoT. And I know that all of us should be more patient, walking through seniors how to use each of the app on their smartphone when the memory is still good, so that they won't send us an entire email in that subject line box. <laughs> or they won't send us a text message that contains a bunch of emoticons that are completely unrelated. <laughs> or they won't keep screaming at you on FaceTime, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I also think about socialization. It can extend senior living by adding images, conversations, and connections. Do you know that loneliness is the new smoking? Loneliness can have harmful effects on our health, just like smoking 15 cigarettes a day, shaving eight years of our life, Socialization can overcome loneliness and can improve health. Let me introduce you to my Aunt Agatha, my mom's older sister. Having watched what happened to Grandma, Aunt Agatha is determined that she's not going to move into a care facility. So what does she do? She picks up Tai Chi at the age of 70. Who knows what's next for her? Perhaps weight training? Aunt Agatha would go to social functions organized by our Taiji groups all around the world. And recently, she won the gold medal in the senior age category of a Tai Chi competition. <laughs> and, of course, she would post her medal pictures all over her Facebook page. I used to think differently about social media. I used to think it is a waste of time. But now I'm connected with my loved ones on Facebook, on Instagram, on WhatsApp, and on Skype. Do you know that the number of seniors over 75 on social media has doubled in the last year? I am convinced that getting seniors into the digital age as early as possible is the way to go. Embrace technology before it is too late. Now, face-to-face -face connection is still important because technology
cannot replace a real heart. For my loved ones, as they grow older, to stay or not to stay at home, that is the question. When it is the right time, do the right thing. There is going to be a time when moving into a care facility can be the right thing to do. For example, when you can no longer walk or transfer independently, when you're losing your urine or bowel all the time, when you're so frail and your family is totally burned out, when you keep dropping your smartphone in the toilet bowl, okay, I don't count that. But these are tough times, and it takes courage. Courage to get up early from community services. There are many things that all of us can do, really, to extend senior living at home. In particular, use technology to increase safety and to increase socialization. And now, let me share with you what happened with Grandma. My last vacation day in Hong Kong, Grandma in that care facility in the steel cot bed, her eyes staring blankly across the floor of wandering older people as I sing to her. Moon River, wider than a mile, I'm crossing you in style someday. Grandma says to me, Ming Zai, I'm so sorry, but I cannot cook spot prawns for you. <laughs> they won't let us cook in here. Grandma, don't be sorry. I love you. Is there anything that I can do for you? Nothing, grandson. I love you too. You have done everything you can and more. Six months later, in that care facility, in that steel cot bed, Grandma passed away. I miss Grandma. My invitation for you, my challenge for you, is to think of one way. One way that you can use technology and your compassion to extend senior living at home so that they can be in familiar surroundings, hanging out with familiar people, savoring familiar memories. Act before it is too late. Do it for yourself or someone you know or your parent or your grandma.